Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy, World Number 4, with a whole new video. Today we're on Elden Ring, and we are going to be glitching at Mogwin Palace. And not only are these glitches simple and easy, you could actually do it pretty early in the game, and you could be racking yourself up tens of millions of runes an hour. Now, if you have the gold pickled foul foot, it will help you boost your runes to 30% more. And if you have the gold scarab talisman, it will also boost it another 20%, making another 50% total boost in runes. So when you are doing these glitches, make sure you have those equipped. And if you are new around the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video and turn on notifications that said and done let's get this video started so we're going to start this video off helping out the new players when you first start the game your first grace is going to be the first step make sure you touch the side of grace once you touch it you're going to want to go talk to the white masked man he's simply going to want you to progress through the game after a while you should end up at Stormgate, which is located right here you're going to want to make sure you touch the side of grace because then you will be given torrent and this horse is very important but as you're progressing you're going to have to face these two bosses through this castle and those two bosses being godric and margaret Honestly, if there's a way to skip it, you should. I just went through those two bosses. And personally, I'm not sure if there is a way to skip it because the white masked man might not show up and that'd be troublesome for you. But anyway, after getting through Stormville Castle, you're going to want to progress to the site of grace called Lake Facing Cliffs. This will put you on the right path to the Rose Church, which is the destination the white masked man will be. But there are some sites of grace you should pick up, such as this grace I'm going to right now called Folly on the Lake, pretty close to the Rose Church just in case anything were to happen to you on the way. But once you get to the church, you're going to see him on the side. You're going to want to interact with him. When you're talking to him, he's going to be talking about the two fingers, and you're going to want to make sure you tell them they didn't seem right. At this point, he will then reward you with a festering bloody finger. Now, this is going to make you invade other people. Now, in these fights, you don't have to win them at all. You could jump off a cliff, let yourself be downed, whatever it is, but you just can't leave. You either have to be taken down or you win the fight. Personally, I wouldn't waste too much time into this. I just jump off the edge or something now after finishing all that you're going to want to go back and talk to the white masked man at the rose church when you're interacting with him he's going to want to anoint you let him anoint you of course and accept his offer he will also give you a little gift called the lord of blood's favor now you simply have to drench that cloth in maiden's blood there is a maiden located in the church of inhibition and there is a side of grace you should pick up called the frenzied flame village outskirts now when you're at the side of grace you're going to simply want to follow my location and not attack any enemies they are going to be very difficult so you're just want to make sure you keep running past them with torrent but when you do get to the church of inhibition there is going to be an enemy that spawns in he is a little tough so be careful but when you take him out you're going to want to go in there find your maiden she's going to be right next to the side of grace she's going to have some items on her pick those up and then drench your cloth and her blood after you've done that successfully you're going to want to go back to the white masked man who's still at the roast church when you talk to the white masked man he's going to rip off your finger and give you a bloody finger but not only that he's going to give you a pure blood knight's medal now this is very important He's gonna tell you not to use it, but you're gonna disregard him and you're gonna use it anyway Now when you load in you're gonna be at Mogwin Palace You're gonna want to simply come up these stairs There should be a map on that dead skeleton You should pick that up and then turn to your left and then walk up those stairs and there should be a side of grace for you That grace is called Dynasty Mazulim Entrance Once you picked up that grace You're gonna simply turn to your left fall off this cliff and then call on torrent and then follow my path When I come to the edge of the mountain here I like to stay on the right because it doesn't spawn in enemies But once you break away, you're gonna see this tree you're gonna to want to run towards it don't worry about the enemies just keep running past them you're gonna run past your second tree and then you're gonna see a third tree and then keep running past them don't worry about the enemies after that you're gonna see a hill you're gonna to want to start running up it keep running up this hill these enemies are going to be chasing you so once you see the side of grace right here you're gonna to want to instantly touch it and then sit down because they will hurt you this side of grace is called palace approach ledge it's also a very important grace for these glitches up and coming but now that you guys know how to get to the spot and without wasting any more time let's hop into these glitches Okay, starting off our first glitch at Palace Approach Ledge. All you're going to want to do is follow my cursor and place a little mark right here. This is where the glitch is going to be taking place. All you're going to want to do is call on Torrent and follow my path. Make sure you just keep moving past the enemies. They will do you nothing there except cause harm, and we don't need that. Keep following my path. You're going to see the first cave on your right. Ignore that one. We're going to the second one. And I kind of jumped in the spot, but what you're going to want to do is line up on this rock, call on Torrent, simply double jump on the second rock ledge over here and you're going to double jump onto this other rock over here all right now you have to get around this corner as you can see i jumped around and then double jump back in and you can stay on this ledge right here you're going to want to keep moving forward get to the second rock location and keep double jumping up kind of want to get past here you could either move to the right or the left as you can see i'm struggling it is hard but as long as you get up here one way or another then you're going to want to follow my path super simple keep double jumping over these mountain cliffs and 
once you get to the ledge all you're going to do is look over and do a solid double jump sometimes you got to hold that second jump make sure you do so the glitch works and once you are falling endlessly like i am right here all you're going to want to do is continuously swing your sword preferably your right trigger constantly keep swinging no matter what for about two minutes now after two minutes you should get about a quarter million runes this is depending on if you have the gold pickle foul foot the golden scarab and if you are in a new game plus but i am getting the bare minimum so that should tell you something and once you do have all the runes you are looking for all you're going to want to do is call back to the side of grace and rinse and repeat very simple glitch and i think very easy but with that one done let's get on to the second one now with our second glitch you're going to be starting at the same spot the palace approach ledge all you're going to want to do is have your map on and look to your left you're going to want to place your little blue marker right over here this is where the glitch is going to be taking place once you're ready you're going to want to call on torrent and follow my path exactly make sure not to interact with the enemies just keep running past them once you see this tree you're going to want to turn left keep following my path stick to the left and once you get past here the enemies will stop chasing you and this is where the glitch begins all you're gonna want to do is call on torrent and scale this mountain super simple got my first jump off i'm gonna jump on this tree you see this rocks over my head i jump around it over here i jump on the smaller rock to get more leverage then i jump around this bigger rock to get to the side once i'm here all i have to do is scale the mountain again to get a little bit higher this time it's easier i sped it up for you guys because this is very embarrassing once i got over here i'm heading north and i'm above this first mountain you can see there's a little second mountain above me once you jump past it you're gonna see a hole as you guys can see i'm running over here and there's a hole below me you're gonna want to get in that hole and jump in it i'm gonna speed it up because you have to kind of angle up the whole spot perfectly because sometimes the jumps can mess you up but as you can see i get my double jump and i start swinging continuously now after continuously swinging for about two minutes you should get about a quarter million runes fairly easy mountain climb for these runes and once you're done collecting all your runes all you have to do is call back to the side of grace and rinse and repeat now with the second glitch done let's move on to our third now this third glitch also takes place at palace approach ledge and it's so close to you i didn't even ping it on the map it's right in front of you all you're going to want to do is call on torrent and follow my path no enemies here simply you're going to turn to your left drop down here and call off torrent angle yourself ever so slightly i like to do this call back on torrent and when you're ready you're going to want to jump on this bloody cliff right here keep moving towards the mountain then you're going to want to double jump right over here on this ledge keep moving towards the mountain jump wait till you see this bloody triangle double jump on it and then keep scaling the mountain and you have to keep moving towards the mountain while you're doing it once you see this light shaded rock you're clear to double jump off the edge once you do so you're going to want to continuously swing your sword non-stop for at least two minutes until you get a quarter million runes this one was very simple and very close to you honestly it's just getting to that bloody triangle rock so that's why i like to save my double jump for it but once you get that you want to keep moving towards that mountain and then double jump off and it's super simple with that being our third glitch let's move on to our fourth Okay, starting with our fourth glitch, we're going to be at the Dynasty Mausoleum entrance, different location, and I'm going to be putting a marker where the glitch is going to be taking place. But once you're ready, all you're going to want to do is fall off this cliff, call on Torrent, and stick to the right so you don't summon any enemies. Now, as you're sticking to the right, you're going to see my marker, and this is where the glitch is going to be taking place. These rocks right in front of me, and if you turn around, he will summon a mage skeleton that shoots lasers at you. I suggest taking him out, going for a backstab at least, and what he summons will despawn when once you get him below two thirds health, as you can see, I get him one more time. He's below two thirds guy disappears and then I take him out. That's perfect. Now I could do the glitch as I please without even worrying, or you could try to do it first try. It is your choice. I like to take care of him before I do it. As you guys see, I simply scale this mountain. It's super easy. I turn back and I end up looking south as you guys can see the entrance is on our right but you want to continue looking south and you will see a hole below you all you're going to want to do is fall down the hole as you see I do right here perfectly right to the spot all I'm going to do is double jump right out and continuously swing for about two minutes like i said before after about two minutes you will get a quarter million runes and then all you'll have to do is go back to the side of grace and rinse and repeat now you don't have to kill that dude i decided to kill him just in case but if you get it the first try it'll be too late for the skeleton to use his magic on you and then you'll be in the clear but that's all up to you but with this fourth glitch done let's move on to our final glitch with our final glitch we're going to be starting off at the dynasty mausoleum entrance you're going to want to put a marker right where i do that's going to be where the 
the glitch is located at. All you're gonna wanna do is run up these stairs and run past all these zombie looking freaks. Keep running up these stairs. Don't give them the time of the day. You're gonna wanna turn left and then you're gonna wanna drop down right here. There are gonna be dogs around you. You're gonna wanna take them out real quick. As you can see, I'm taking out dogs, getting them out my way so they don't bother me while I'm going into this glitch. And all you're gonna wanna do is turn towards this tree and this is where you're gonna be scaling to get to the spot. When you are ready, you're gonna to wanna to call on Torrent. You're gonna to wanna to be on the edge of the tree and then run up it, jump right, but then jump sharp back left. This will get you right next to the tree. All you're gonna to wanna to do is keep double jumping to get to the higher edges of the rock. As you see, I jump out, jump right back in, get in the crack, and then I jump out again, fall a little bit, but then I jump again to catch myself, and I start climbing this mountain super easily. Then you're gonna to wanna to follow my path to the hole again, keep jumping past all these rocks, and once you get to the hole, all you're gonna to wanna to do is drop down. As you can see, I drop down very very well right to the spot I double jump out and then I start swinging continuously after about two minutes you'll get about a quarter million runes and remember this is with no gold pickle fouled foot or anything so it's very good no new game plus or none of that and when you are done all you have to do is call back to the side of grace and repeat all right boys that's the video if there's anything i missed leave a comment let me know if you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe turn on notifications it's been a blast it's your boy world number four and i'm out peace